Good morning, right, this week we have hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and so I thought I'd do a video and show you guys around. I really appreciate all you guys that watch our videos, make comments and also buy product from us because if you didn't buy product from our website then we wouldn't have a business. So we have got a site here, we've got a few of us have come in early so you haven't got all the stuff, I didn't want to embarrass everybody and go through some GDPR stuff with everyone. So it's a, it's a slightly empty warehouse but welcome to our warehouse now obviously we don't have customers here so no one can see this so doing it via youtube is quite a good way to do it so this is my idea of a sort of a display to show what we do so this is our sort of reception display and we've got a collection of cars there on some oak beams right you're bored of that right let's go through morning dan say hello dan's in early to help me go through do you want to turn the lights in the office on dan yeah. um Right, so this is the packing area. So we've got it all set up and you can see here, actually let's turn the lights on. This is this is a little trick we've got here. We've got one of these Google Homes. Where's he gone there? And we can go, hey Google, turn on the warehouse lights. Sure, okay. oh, look at that. <laughs> right, um, so the larger, the smaller products, sorry, come down the conveyor. We've got a conveyor installed in here, comes down. And then we've got the packing benches here where we pack the product. We've got a selection of boxes all up here so that we can efficiently pick and pack the products. And then we put it onto these trolleys and it gets dispatched, dispatched? dispatched around the world. And we, we send internationally every day. So we've got DHL, Night Freight, Royal Mail. This is where all the products get unloaded, typically off containers. We do have some UK products too. They come in here, we can unload them here. We, we've we also got a loading platform up the top here so we can offload up to the top and put it all in the warehouse. Get it all. We've got some larger items down this aisle here. And then we've got things for pickups and tailgates and larger things here. Right, let's have a look. So we've got the two packing benches. Where should we go next, Dan? Let's go and have a look. Have a look, we've got toilets. Right, we, we had a bit of fun with the toilets. Look, we got... We got Wonder Woman toilet. This is the sort of stuff we've got here, you see? We got Wonder Woman and we got Batman. There you go. How cool is that? Right. We got exhaust, mud flaps. We've got everything laid out down here. In fact, let's do the warehouse bit first. We'll get onto the cars later. We'll make them do the warehouse and office stuff first. Dan's nodding. Yeah. Keep the cars. So we got some everything we've got laid out here. So you can see we've got racks and racks all labelled with everything from bulbs to tools. We've got all the, the bulbs and stuff in here. We sell some Osram product. We've got all the LED bulbs to make up the interior lighting kits. Here you go, you see all the bulbs here. We've got interior stuff all here. we got pickup truck lights. We've got the area here that you saw before where we've got a lot of the, the Land Rover grills. They've even labelled it, look. So we've got all the Land Rover grills, and we got those stacked up. Oh, I'm out of breath this morning then. Got them all stacked up. Right, and then we've got a sales office. We've got two sides like this. Is everyone feeling sick? But we try and keep the place clean and tidy. Because we don't have customers here, um, it's a lot easier for us to control the place and make sure we've got all the stock. Here's our jobs for the board. We've got to get everything ready there. And some kitting area and then we've got the sales office here so this is where um the guys and girls will answer your calls when we do the accounts and check everything's going okay we've got the cctv on the wall so we can check what's happening we've got a posh meeting room aren't we dan Hi. come on dan come and sit at the head of the table it's where you belong dan dan likes to sit at the top of the table there go on take your rightful place dan yep. there you go so we've got a, a conference room there that's where Dan gives all the orders. He doesn't really. Right, and so there we go. Right, where should we go now? Let's, we've actually got another floor as well. Let's go and have a look at the top floor. Because on the top floor, we've got the solar. You ever been on the roof, Dan? I haven't, no. No, right, we're going to put Dan up on the roof. Right, I hope no one from health and safety is watching. We'll be in trouble. Right. So, yeah, we've got another floor up here. Places like... Uh, so we built this warehouse a couple of years ago. So we've got all the interior here, so you can see we've 
got a samples board with all the wood finishes. We do try and do a fair bit on the interiors, but it's quite bespoke. It does take a while. Right, then we've got boxes of... And this is where we keep all the bulk stock. So the shelves downstairs are pickable. But this is bulk. We've got some automatic lights here. Whee, look at that. Um, there we go. Some clearance product. Some of the customer returns we get. And we've got our IT here. So this is all our IT. Right then, Dan, we've got to get up there and get on the roof and show them our solar panels. Right, there's that loft that's there. Right, you hold the camera. I'll get up there. Oh, I'm too old for this, Dan. I'm you volunteered. Old. Here we go. Don't climb on the racking. That's bad. <laughs> right then. Right then. Let's have a look. You can jump up if you want to, Dan. Right. So there we go. We're up on our roof. And you can see, hopefully there, we've got a sea of solar panels on the roof here. So we've got 50 kilowatts of solar panels. Are you up there? Where are you? He's up. He hasn't fallen. He's safe. So there you go. You can see all our solar. So we're actually a net exporter of um, of solar of electricity. So we produce more than we use, which is really cool. Although some people could argue it's a bit weird because we sell parts for four-wheel drive cars. But there we go. Get down safely, then. We don't want to, we'll probably get more views yeah, if you fall, but right there. Whoa, you can go, an old man climbing on. <laughs> we're going to get the health and safety executive, we're going to be all over me. Right then. <laughs> right, come on Dan, we're next. Go on, Dan's on it now. Where are we going? Shannon and Janica, okay, come on. Should we go to the atrium? Yeah, go on. Come on, come this way. Look. <laughs> we have some motivational messages to get Dan all motivated, look. Ability is what you're capable of doing, Dan. Motivation determines what you do, and attitude determines how well you do it. There you go. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, Jack, good morning, Jack. We're doing a little YouTube tour, Jack. Oh, nice. Around your warehouse, is that all right? Yeah, carry on. Do you want to say hello to everyone, Jack? Hello, everybody. Enjoy right. The tour. <laughs> As Jack runs the warehouse, right. So we're in the atrium now, and this is where we've got it racked literally to the rafters there. So you can see there, see our LED lights up there? Trying to save some power. Right, so we've got it all racked out. We've got real lights. We've got everything all stacked in coming from suppliers. We've just bought a load of stock from Land Rover. Should we show them the wheel pile? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Dan's on it. So there we go. Now this aisle here, all the stuff down the middle of this aisle is new product that Ben, our photographer, has still got a photograph and get on. We've got about 200 new products still to list, so we got a lot to do here, haven't we, Dan? That's why we come in early. Always. Right, let's go downstairs and have a look what's going on down here. Whoa, cement mix, what's that doing there? <laughs> right then, so this is what we call the back cave because this is where we keep the project cars. Morning, Harry. Morning. So, this is the so we've got the Range Rover in Vogue, we've got my project mini that's still, still in. We got a mini convertible. What other cars have we got? Ooh. We've got a little mini as well. We got, we got the Defender. He hasn't had much love recently, has he? We've no. had a lot of requests for more Evoke videos, haven't we, Dan? Yeah. So we're going to try and get the Evoke out a bit more. So if there's any videos you want doing, we can't do them all, but we will try and get one or two done a day. We got the trusty Disco Four. What have we got down here, Dan? We got the Range Rover Sport. We got the Project Race Truck. We got the Project Range Rover L322. We've got Boaty, our big Range Rover Supercharge. We've got more outside as well, haven't we? Yeah. Um, right, what else? Our oh, new Bedford. And my Bedford camper van, that's from my university <laughs> days. That's another story. No one wants to see that. Right, this is the pile of wheels. So Land Rover had a special offer on, but they made a mistake and they reduced the price wrong. So I bought all their stock of alloy wheels for a ridiculously cheap price. Um, so we'll put these on, we've put these on eBay. These are 19 inch alloy wheels. I've got hundreds of them. Um, and basically, um, yeah, we'll put them on eBay, but um, there's our part number there if you want to find it on the website. Email us, make us a silly offer for these because I'm under pressure to sell some of these. 19 inch, Discovery Sport, Evoke. I'm sounding like QVC now, I'm like, <laughs> right. what else do they fit? It's the Evoke, Freelander 2. All our packing materials here. This is where we keep all the packing materials. A few customer returns there. 
Workshop. Do you want to go out that way? Go. No, no, we don't want to see the back. Let's go to the workshop. Right, so you've... I hope everyone's lost now. There's some wind deflectors, bumpers, big cardboard boxes for the body kits we send out. Right. We've got the lasers, we've got the, and we missed the laser machine. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah. Right, and, and we didn't need to move that sign down because there's we no do. laser in here. Stick it on the glass door so no one walks into it. So here we go. So this is the workshop. We do a lot of our videos. So we've got the three ladder twos in here for some love at the moment. He's looking a bit dusty. He's been in the back cave for a while. Um, Dan's done a good job. He's cleaned it up. We want to say thank you to Ian for all the help he's given us over the last few years. Um, setting this up. Big thanks to Ian, although he left us. We've got the L4 and 5. We've got the 3D printer going. So we've got Julian's design some product. Um, he'll come in here and take that. I can't see anything. It's finished. But I won't touch that, I'll let Julian do that. Um, so we've got to get this back on the road, haven't we, Dan? Yep. Right, let's go and have a quick look at the hydrographics room. So we'll, we'll just stop now and we'll fly back to the to the back cave. All right. right, so this is the hydrographics room. It's actually going to be our development lab. We're setting it up for Julian. So just, Ari's just putting the carpet tile down here. We're going to get the 3D printer in here. We're going to get our 3D laser scanner in here. Come on in, you can walk on in. We've got the laser machine there. And we're going to do the hydrographics, which is where you can do these sort of dip printing effects, carbon and other. We're going to get the tanks going in there. So we're just setting this room up. But, um, so that'll be good when we get all that done. But if there's any videos you want, let us know. And thanks again for subscribing. And thanks again for buying our products.